In this video, I am going to explain how to draw a King Post Group Trust. Here some details will be provided. Let's go to the tutorial. Click on subscribe, click on bell icon for new updates. This is the King Post Group. Here we can see so many details. This one called as beam. This one called as primary rafter. Then purlin and king post and struts. In this king post, we know some major members, but we should know what is the maximum span of this king post group trust. The maximum span is 4800 millimeters. It means 4.8 meters is the maximum span of king post group trust. We have already drawn two walls in between 4.8 meters span. These are walls. We have to draw a wall plate. So click on rectangle tool, then click a point. Shift plus 2 and enter the wall plate size is 100,75. Enter. This is my wall plate. So I can copy it both sides. You can mirror it also. Here, this is my wall plate. Beam size is 100 by 100. So click on rectangle tool and click the point and shift plus 2, 100, 4800. Enter. Now my beam is created. So you can rotate it. This is my beam size. It means the equal to span size. You can extend up to this wall. Click on this grip, then go to tracking point. Right. Now I have drawn my beam size. You can move it. Click on it here. This is my half. If you want, you can use this by even half click on this point pick the, the this point and right click mid between two points pick these two points click trim tool and trim it now my beam is placed on the wall plate now i have to get my center point so tracking the midpoint then draw a vertical line this is our symmetrical axis. You can change this line type as center, then click on center. Then you can change this color as blue. Now I have drawn my beam and the symmetrical line. We have to draw primary rafter. The primary rafter size is 100 by 100 or else 100 by 75 also. In this case, I can get as 100 by 75 ok click on line then check the 30 degree angle is available or not now it's available i have to draw primary rafter so click on this point and go to 30 degree angle enter you can extend up the symmetrical line then we have to move inside because the gripness we have to place a grip nuts joint so click on this line and move 75 millimeters enter here this is my rafter primary rafter joining place then i have to offset this value as 100 in elevations or section rafter should be in 100 millimeters Now we have to place the joint it here. It means the bearing joint. Here we have to draw the bearing joint. Click on line. This bearing joint, this depth is 25 millimeter. Enter 25 and join it here. This is our bearing joint. Click on trim and trim it. Here this is my bearing trim. 
we can provide it detail by this layout option i will explain it little bit later here i have drawn our major rafter it means the primary rafter you can uh, both side you can do use this mirror to both sides so click on the mirror and both side i have to mirror we mirror it and i'm going to trim this object we have created our beam and primary rafters now is the time to create the king post so king post size also 100 by 100 click on offset then enter the value is 50 because i have to offset both sides enter click on much properties and click on this line and change this line properties click on trim and select this object enter then i want to cut unwanted segment now we have to provide some details you can check it here here we have to place our gasset plates and clit also so we have to provide those also here we have another object is here we have joint also here so we have to provide that joint the same as about this joint now it's the time to place purling click on rectangle tool then click the dimensions shift plus two hundred comma fifty this side of the purling then click on rotate click on this object and enter pick a base point click on reference line pick these two points and enter the perpendicular line now it's converted so click on it and get the midpoint and place the midpoint here also so i have midpointed here nicely placed here we have to give a bearing depth it means here this bearing depth should be in 12.5 millimeters here we have bearing depth so click on this trim and trim it the enough place is here then we have to provide this object right this object should be in more than 150 millimeters so i can get this center point then get the angle uh, 15 degree then this distance is 150 milli enter then you can place it likewise as a perpendicular joint or else you can use likewise a, a chamfer angle this is, this is better so you can provide it also and here we have to provide some nails or not or just mostly we use the nails you can check it these nails also the perpendicularly you can provide it then copy it same as here also you can divide it into three segments of this line then you can place so click on on divide enter click on this line and give three parts enter now we couldn't see this is uh, divided or not you can change it go to utilities and point style then set absolute unit and give the type and click ok here i have so click on this line and go to place it if you want you can provide some little bit more right you can copy it as a same we have provided you can mirror it also so click on mirror select this object enter then pick these two points enter here also i have provided then click on trim and trim it this area now we have uh, provide the purling and the purling protection objects also now we have to use the secondary rafter secondary rafter 100 by 50 so in elevations 100 
for else you can use 75 into 75 also type excel and enter construction line and type a enter and enter angle is 30 degree and click on the construction line and give a then give a the angle is 25 now this is a 25 degree angle then you can mirror it also we have to mirror because the, the reason is there i will explain enter then click on chamfer now i have to offset this area into 750 for the eaves the both side enter trim it and also here also trim click on offset then give 75 millimeters enter click on chamfer and same click on mirror select this object enter then mirror it enter. click on chamfer then join it click on trim then we trim those objects now we have placed the purlin and the raft you can use this copy this object and get this point somewhere around here here you have to provide the bearing depth and you can check it here the secondary rafter also same as the depth but in this case I don't provide this then click on this and go to top somewhere around I place it here click on trim trim it the mirror command or else you can use the copy yes I use some mirror command and mirror it both sides enter here also we have to trim those areas now I have to mark these are the timbers so easily I just provide the cross so click on this one and change the color and I am going to cross this object the mirror object here we have eave the eave size is 750 milli you can check it we provided our purlins also the rafter is there now we have to provide here the bearing depth and our object so click on line then go to polar check it as 15 degree angle then click on this point and get 15 degree angle and click it same as mirror here we have placed then trim this area enter then get a vertical line so click on order click on line then get a vertical line now we have provided this head then check it here this one is always keep horizontal so go there and get this point and get here this area then get a horizontal line click on this area go to horizontal then aim for it click on trim and trim this area click on match property and change the properties of this line now we created this head also then we have to provide the ridge the ridge size is here the normal size is 50 by 100 and then click on this line click this midpoint you can adjust this 
or else you can adjust up to here then you can trim it now we have created our rope truss here some mistakes are there you can check it this is the rope truss now we have to place the fixing plates click on the, this rectangle tool and click on this point shift plus 2 25 comma 300 this is the plate we have to fix you can rotate it click on rotate select this object pick this midpoint and reference pick this midpoint and pick this midpoint then click on points check these two points now we rotated to reference this angle then click on this half of this one then you can fix it this center line so click on move and click on here and place it here then mirror it now you can see here we have plate on downside only so copy this object click on rotate enter reference click on these two lines and vertical pick this move and pick this point go to fix it here now we have three objects you can trim it then you can use the chamfer to fix this this is our fixing plate we have provided then if you want to more detail you can trim this plate then you can give the nut and bolt but uh, just I uh, give circles here we have provided those details and here also we can use click on this same as here copy click on this object click on here go to bottom then close it here also same you can use the circle by just putting without any measurements now we have completed our roof and here also we can provide but this details is enough then click on this layer right click go to page setup manager modify get microsoft print in my plotter then get this a3 paper sheet layout and uh, style is monochrome the paint style or plot style then click ok now i have a3 size paper If you don't know how to use this uh, page setup manager, you can check it other tutorials or talk at 2020 tutorials page setup manager. Now the outline is created. Then type V port and V ports enter. Then click on single and OK. I draw my viewport. Double click it here and zoom it. Zoom and enter the scale this one is to 100 is so much so one is to 50 you can adjust this one is to 20 so one is to 20 is best so you can use it i have provided so click on then give deep points when you get print preview you can't see that line you have to provide some more detail here we can't see so many details 
So we have to provide this easy way is viewport. So click on this viewport and right click, go to add select. Then draw a viewport. Double click it here. Then zoom it. Go to particular object. Then click on scale. Go to give 1 is to 10. Now is enlarge shape as circle or any other shape. Now in this case I am going to change this shape as center radius circle. So click on center radius then click it here to draw a circle. Click on this viewport right click go to viewport click then select this object. It's automatically converted to circle. If you want you can give more details. Make a circle let it be furnish our drawing likewise here also you can use the viewport select this object and go to add selected then draw a object double click it here then zoom it go to this object and give the scale as 1 is to 10 then you can adjust it change the circle draw a circle then click on this viewport right click viewport click select this object now it's converted then you can move it if you want you can change the layer and here also I have details so I have to choose this detail this here so same way click on the viewport and go to add selected draw this viewport then double click here then zoom it go to this object then give the scale 1 is to 10 double click it here go to circle and center radius go to draw a circle then click on this viewport, right click, viewport click and click it here. Now these details are provided here. You can use same way. If you want, you can give here the scale. The scale is linked with this circle. So, click on text and give multi-line text. Draw a text. Then type scale. The shortcut is Ctrl F, field then click all click on object then click on this object object type to pick point then pick a point and here some properties are there now i want to give the scale the viewport scale so click on this custom scale now we have custom scale so click on use scale name click ok now we have scale 1 is to 10 you can adjust, you can check it, click on this, then go to change it as 1 is to 8. Here didn't change, you can change it as type RE then enter, this 1 is to 8. Now in this case, 1 is to 10 is the standard. So re-enter RE and then 1 is to 10. You can use this method to another object also. Go to text, go to multi-line text, then draw a box then go to type scale then control F click on object then pick the object give the custom scale then click OK this one is to 10 you can use it here you can copy it go to place it here and 
place it here also then double click it here double click on this here then click on viewport select this viewport go to custom skill and do skill name click ok here also double click it here double click this object go to viewport and select this viewport go to custom skill and do skill name if you want you can use this large scale also here same as copy this one and go here double click it here double click it here then pick point I got I want to keep this scale as custom scale then click OK here you can see one is 20 now I can see the print preview click on this print pre plot preview you can see here the scales are rotated as 90 degrees because this is in annotation scale so click on this object and right click go to properties here the annotative is yes you can change this annotative is no right now go to print preview now this place is perfectly if you want you can keep these circles so you can select these circles and go to change the layer as zero this is my outline so you can use this trim command to remove those outline object you see the preview then nicely place the king post detail thank you click on subscribe click on bell icon for new updates